Hi guys, Rob B46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP22 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We are going to Catalonia next. Let's see what we can do here. Um, hopefully we'll be okay, but you never know. It's got a long straight on it, so we may struggle there. But we'll have to wait and see. We already know it's fully dry, which is good. Right, let's go. Okay, quickest overall in free practice and on combined times as well. So, yeah, it doesn't really mean anything because as soon as we get to that straight, we know we're going to have some people blast past us. So, again, we're going to have to get tactical with Pam App and three in the actual race. But it's time to qualify. Right, 43-9 for Tony Arbolino at the moment. Let's see if we can beat that. Okay, that was good through turn one. Could have been better through turn two. We're a tenth under at the moment. Oh, it's in it. Bit too hot there, way too hot in fact. Right, here we go then. Forty-three four. So we're half a second under. Right, Rumpole, Aaron Cannett in second place, Arbolino third, Lowe's in fourth. Let's see if we can have a better race around Catalonia. Let's go. Right, race time. I'm actually gonna try a slightly different tactic this time. Um I think I'm going to do the first full lap in Power Map in 3. See if we can kind of get away from them a little bit. Then drop down on Power Map in 2. I know that they will start to, to close back in. Um, just want to see if that tactic will have any advantage whatsoever. Right, here we go. They actually got a pretty decent start by their standards this time. Okay, someone's gone down. Okay, just keep going, just keep going. Right, this is a corner I really don't like. It's this point in the corner, you just... You do understeer through there. But again, all classes that happens in. So what I'll do, I'll wait till we get to turn one. 
or the end of this straight to turn back down a power map in two. So look at that, we've got a 2.3 second lead over Canet. Right, power map in two now. See how much they close up in this lap. Because we are going to be losing time, I think. 2.4. Try and keep that number in the head. To be fair, it has gone up a little bit. Yeah, it's come down a bit there. Alright, we will see what the gap is at the end of the lap. Which we're coming to very shortly. Two point eight, so it's actually gone up about point four of a second in that lap. So not as bad as I thought actually. I was expecting that to come down to about one and a half seconds or or something like that, but no, it seems to be okay at the moment using power mapping two. It's come down a little bit there, about 0.2 of a second. But again, not a huge amount. So it might be alright for this race. Wide there, that didn't help. Although, we're actually up on time at the moment, which is a bit strange considering I made that mistake. Oh, had a little bit of movement there.
Right, again, come down another couple of attempts, but if it does in the next two laps, it's not going to affect us too badly. Again, it's not telling us who's got the fastest lap of the race at the moment. Going in wide. So 2.2 again, it's coming down. That's too wide. It's lost us another tenth or two. Right, one lap to go, and yeah, it's below two seconds now, I've gone back up the power map in three. Let's see if we can maintain our lead, I think even if we lose about four tenths on this lap, we'll be absolutely fine. Okay, gap's gone back up. There's no surprises. We are going 0.8 quicker than our previous best lap, so... Oh. Again, that just... Lean over, will ya? Right-hand side of the rear tyre is uh, definitely losing grip, but it doesn't matter. We've got one corner to go. Okay, nice and easy. Back on the top step at Catalonia. Our tactic worked a treat. There we go. We did have the fastest lap of the race. We didn't win in Moto3, but we've won in Moto2 43.5. So yeah, their, their lap times weren't too bad. But 0.3 off, 0.2 off for Navarro. Other than that, not too bad. But yeah, good win. Good win, that. Can it back up to second place? Second place seems to be chopping and changing a lot at the moment. But yeah, we got 84 point lead now. And uh, yeah, we've lost the lead in the team championship now. But unfortunately, I'm the only rider. So we're five points behind. Park fair, mate. Feels like it's been a while since I've had a win, so um, yeah, that came at a good time. All right. So yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Power map in three for the first lap and the last lap, pretty much. Just to try and get a little lead. The trouble is, if they stay behind you, obviously they get slipstream. And 
one of them will just nudge you out the way and then that just opens the door for a, a lot more people then you just get caught in a battle with others and then you just lose time to the front group or the leader so if we can get away then you know it's uh it's good we get a satsum ring next we've got a new upgrade um shall we do an electronics upgrade anti-wheelie maybe five electronics takes so long compared to all the other upgrades anyway satsum ring seven laps oh you know what happened in moto three round here last season with us we got the win on the final corner, didn't we? Are we going to be able to do that again? I doubt it. But. Oh, no. Right. Let's do FP2 because it's just a wet track which will dry. Or have a drying line. The other two are just rain. So there's no point doing them because we won't go quick enough. Um, to be able to get straight through to Q2. At least qualifying and the race is going to be dry. And the good thing about that, we can throw lots of tyres at this if we need to. Right, let's go. Okay, I'm concerned. So, yeah, we've just had wet track. Um, actually, no, it's, it's, it's dry qualifying, isn't it? Oh, we'll be fine then. We'll be fine. Oh, oh, that was close. Anyway, we're qualifying. Yeah, the reason I said I was concerned was because on combined time, some of the riders went quicker in full-on rain compared to just a wet track with a drying line. And I thought, for some reason, that qualifying was in the rain, but it's not, it's dry, so that's fine. I was thinking if it was going to be raining, we're going to struggle to get a decent position. But it's fine. We've lost time there. That seems to be the sector where we lose time. Oh, we got some time back there, though. Tenth of a second. Ron Paul. Oh, someone's just crashed in the background. Um... Bobier second, Fernandez third. Where's Lowe's to? 14th place. Dixon Dan in 17th. Wait, where's Can at? Oh, there he is, fifth. Okay. Right, Satsang Ring. Let's go. Right, let's do this. Medium. Medium. Let's go. Do I do. Oh, some people gone for hard rear tyres. A lot of people have gone for hard rear tyres. That could be a mistake that's going to cost me. Do I do what I've done at Catalonia and go power mapping three for the full first lap? Yeah, I'm going to do it. My tyre is going to go off. There we go. Okay. Yes. Oh, that was a mistake. Nearly lost the front by clipping the inside curb. I mean, the rear's already sliding, which is not a good sign.
was a bit too wide there. Right, end of lap one, we've got a 1.6 second lead, power map in two now. See what happens. That gap will come down, I'm pretty convinced of that. Although we are good through sector one, it didn't matter what um, session we were in, we were always up in sector one. But it's sectors three and four is where we are losing a bit of time. People are crashing quite a lot. Lowe's is already up to 5th. And he's stuck down in 14th place. So he's he's got a shimmy on. I beg your pardon. Can hit us up to 3rd. We lose about 0.3 of a second through there. We're too hot into air. But we gain a lot of time through Satsang Curve. Are they breaking early for Satsang Curve? My guess is yes. So my rear tyre isn't going down as much as I, or as quickly as I thought, actually. I thought it was going to go down, to go down a bit quicker than that, but I'm glad it's not. Because I bet a GP21, Satsum Ring, well, and Phillip Island were both the tyre killers. Didn't matter what compound you used, they wouldn't last any longer than, like, two or three laps. Oh, can it's just gone. And that is going to be his second place in the championship gone again. Lowe's up to third now. I'll tell you what, the Mark BDS boys didn't lose too much time through Satsun Curve as well. I think we might have a race on our hands here. I think they're going to catch me eventually. See what happens through Sector 1, because I don't think on the, the previous lap they lost too much. In fact, they gained a bit through Sector 1. It's a little bit worrying, isn't it? Oh, that was close. Oh, mess that up. We're going to lose loads of time now. 1 1.3. Okay, 1.6 from lap 5 or 7. They are coming.
1.4, they're gonna be with me soon. One point two, we still got two laps to go. And I've messed that up. Nearly lost the front as well. Oh Vietti's up to third. Again it's not telling me who's got the fastest lap of the race. So this is a penultimate lap of the race and that gap is coming down. I keep making mistakes which is costing me. So we need to just try and cut them out and we should be okay. But we shall see. Got power mapping 3 to use on the final lap. Someone's just gone down. Maybe the hard rear tyres are starting to come into it a bit now as well. I have lost a bit of grip in the rear. Okay, that was much better through the waterfall. Vietti up to second. I think he's on a mission now. A mission to catch me. Right, here we go. Final lap. That was my personal best lap of the race. 1.3 as it stands. We are in power map in three for this final lap. Point one. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. There we go. Again, our tactic worked, but... I mean, they nearly caught me. I was making a few mistakes on a couple of laps, which uh, definitely cost me some time. Where did Lowe's... Did he crash? Oh, Lowe's, what are you doing? J. Roberts, DNF. Jake Dixon down in 30th. I think he had a crash. Zaccone had the fastest lap, 22.4. 0.2 quicker than me. Lowe's, 20th, no points. Can it? 18th, no points. Oh, that's really going to blow the... Our lead wide open. In fact, Jorge Navarro has now moved up to second place. 103 points behind. Aaron Canna has dropped to third. Team Championship, we regained the lead by 11 points. That's good. Okay, another win for our collection. And uh, yeah, extend our championship lead even more. Jobs are good and... Okay. Well, I think uh, over the next few rounds, I think we can start thinking about the championship because we've got such a big lead. So where's it next? So, it's Assen next, isn't it? Yeah, Assen. 
No, I didn't want to do that. Ass and then Kimi rank. Then a bit of a break till Silverstone. Yeah. Not too bad. We're roughly halfway through. Right. We've got enough for another engine upgrade, but we will wait. We've got anti-wheelie being worked on. So look at the standings for all three categories, starting with Moto3. It is Joan Mazia who leads the way. From Dennis Fodge, who's moved back up to second place now, but it's 32 points behind. John McPhee, he must have had a bad couple of uh, races because he was leading the last time we checked. He's now third, 39 points behind. Gravera's still in fourth and Mino's still in fifth. Moto2, we've got a big lead over Navarro now, who's up to second. Aaron Cannett is down to third. Sam Lowe's still in fourth. And Augusto Fernandez still in fifth. This is what I mean, though. The AI is so inconsistent um, with either crashes or just getting weird results. It's bizarre. That's why we've got such a big lead, because no one is being consistent apart from us. And we've had some really bad rounds as well. We've still got a 103-point lead. MotoGP. Bang Yaya still leads away, 17 points ahead of Quattararo. So Mark Marquez is down to third now, John Mir in fourth. And Bastianini is back up to fifth place. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch hands, look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!